question number 6.30 it's about changes in cost structure break even analysis operating leverage and margin of safety so the learning objective 4 5 7 and 8 will be covered in this question Fred and Company's contribution format income statement for the most recent month is given below. So we have sales 40,000 units and in dollar terms uh, 800,000. We can calculate per unit sales by uh, dividing it with 40,000. And also we can calculate per unit variable cost by dividing it 40,000. Similarly, we can divide it 40,000 to calculate unit contribution margin. Or we can just subtract the selling price and variable cost and reach to the unit contribution margin. So uh, the selling price will be 20 and the variable expense will be 14 and the contribution margin per unit will be 6. If we want to see it in percentage, we can assume uh, this as 100% sales and then uh, to calculate variable expense ratio we can do 14 over 20 multiplied with 100 we have 70% and the contribution margin ratio will be 30% the industry in which Fred and company operation is uh, operates is quite sensitive to cyclical movements in the economy thus profits vary considerably from year to year according to general economic conditions the company has a large amount of unused capacity and is studying ways of improving profits so number one the new equipment has come on the market that would allow Fred and companies to automate a portion of its operation variable cost would be reduced by six per unit. So this is the current status. And here we have a proposed status in which variable expense will drop by six so currently we have 14 dollar variable expense per unit and if it drop by six it will be eight right 14 minus six eight dollars so that is the first thing however fixed expenses would increase to a total of 432 but the fixed expenses would increase to 432 prepare two contribution format income statement one showing present operations and one showing new operation would appear if the new equipment is purchased show an amount column a per unit column and percent column on each statement do not show percentages for the fixed cost so uh, our selling price is same so our sales will be the same 40,000 units uh, 20 dollar per unit total sales will be our per unit is same 20 and then <clears throat> this will be 12 right so 
if we want to do it in percentage, this will be 100 and then 8 over 20. This will become 40 percent and the contribution margin ratio will be 60 percent and in total. The sales will be the same 800,000. And then uh, the variable cost will be 40,000 units. Multiply it with eight. So this will be 320,000. So contribution margin will be 480,000. Then we have this fixed cost. 432,000. And then our net operating income will be 48,000, which is same as the original situation, right? Right here, 48,000. So that was the requirement number one. Requirement number two. Refer to the income statement in the part one above. For both present operations and the proposed new operations compute degree of operating leverage. So the first requirement is to calculate a uh, degree of operating leverage. So we have current situation. And then we have proposed situation. We have to calculate degree of operating leverage. whose formula is contribution margin in total and divided by net operating income. So for the current state, The contribution margin is 240,000. And net income is 48,000. While for the proposed situation, the contribution margin is 480,000. And net income is 48,000. So the operating leverage for the current situation will be five. And for the proposed situation is 10. The one requirement. Part B says calculate the break even in dollars. OK. So let's get back here. So part B is the break even in dollars. So formula for that one is fixed expenses. Divided by CM ratio. In the current state, our fixed expenses are 192,000. And the contribution margin ratio is. 
and by calculating this one we will have six hundred and forty thousand dollars break even while in the proposed situation our contribution margin is our fixed expenses are 432,000 and our CM ratio is 60%. seven hundred and twenty thousand dollars next uh, the margin of safety in both dollars and percentage term so the part c is the margin of safety whose formula is <clears throat> total sales minus break even sales. So for the current situation, the total sales are 800,000. And the break even sales we just calculated are 640,000. So the margin of safety will be 160,000. We can calculate uh, the margin of safety Okay, so uh, if we want to calculate the margin of safety in percentage, we can uh, just uh, take these. Uh, <clears throat> we can just take this margin of safety and divide it with the total sales. multiply it with 100. So by solving it, we will have 20%. In a similar way, we can calculate margin of safety for the proposed situation. So in the proposed situation, the total sales are 800,000. And uh, the break even sales are 720,000. So the margin of safety will be 80,000. To calculate the percentage margin of safety, just divide 80,000 with 
800,000. We have 10% margin of safety in percentage. Part three, refer again to the data in above uh, requirement number one. As a manager, what factors would be paramount in your mind in deciding whether to purchase the new equipment? You may assume that the ample funds are available to make the purchases. So what are the different factors uh, which you should consider while making this decision to purchase their equipment or not. The major factor uh, would be the volatility of operations because uh, the organization's performance is affected by cyclical movement in economy. So in strong, if we see the degree of operating leverage, then in the current situation, uh, the degree of operating leverage is five, while in the proposed situation, degree of operating, operating leverage is 10, because it depends on the fixed cost. So in the current situation, we have to cover all the 240,000 in fixed costs to get to our break even. While in the proposed situation, we have to cover more fixed costs, double fixed costs to get to the break even. So this firm has more risk as compared to the current situation. Therefore, uh, we should also consider the cyclical movement of the economy and the relation with our firm. So uh, if the economic activity is good, then the company will be better off with the new equipment because their profits will double. While if the economic conditions are slow, and there is not much demand of your product. Then in those bad times. Your. Phone will be worse off with the new equipment, right? Well, let's uh, get to the last part. So refer to the original data rather than purchasing new equipment. The marketing managers argues that the company's marketing strategy should be changed. Instead of paying sales commission, which are included in variable expense, the marketing manager suggests that salesperson salaries and that the company invest heavily in the advertisement. So they suggest that salesperson be paid fixed salaries and invest heavily in advertising. The marketing managers claims that the new approach would increase the unit sales by 50%. So our current uh, units are 40,000. So if we follow the new strategy, then our new units sold will be 40,000. They will increase 50%. If we multiply it with 1.5, then uh, this will give us new units sold, which will be 60,000.
without any change in selling price. So our selling price will remain same. So selling price is twenty as before. The company's new monthly fixed expenses will be two hundred and forty thousand dollars and its net operating income net operating income old is 48000 and new will be 25% higher so the net operating income will be 60,000. Compute the break even point in dollar sales for the company under the new marketing strategy. So our first task is to compute the break even point. So we don't have uh, uh, information about the variable cost. Therefore, we cannot calculate our contribution margin, which is required to calculate the break even point. So we need either the contribution margin per unit or contribution margin ratio. Therefore, uh, we have to find the variable cost first. So uh, we will uh, use our uh, that uh, equation method. So sales are equal to variable expenses plus fixed cost plus profits. So sales are uh, 60,000 units. Selling price per unit is 20. So we don't know our variable expenses fixed cost is given which is 240,000 and our profits are 60,000 by solving for variable expenses we will have 900,000 now using this information we can calculate contribution margin ratio so the sales are by dividing both of these will have 1.2 million variable expenses 900,000 so contribution margin is 300,000 if we want to write these in percentages this is 100% and 900,000 divided by 1.5 million we will have 75% and our contribution margin is 25%. Using uh, these information we can now calculate break even in dollars. So the break even formula is fixed cost divided by contribution margin ratio. Fixed cost is 240,000 and the contribution margin ratio is 0 0.25. So our AQ in dollars is 960,000. So do you agree with the marketing manager's proposal? So our break even uh, point is 960,000. Uh, do we agree with the marketing manager's proposal? So the question is, do we
agree with the proposal. What is the proposal? That uh, this proposal gives us uh, one thing uh, that is increase in RCs, right? So 50% increase in RCs and also the increase in net operating income, which is 25%. Uh, the, uh, the biggest risk is that maybe both of these things will not increase. So, we assume that you have increased your fixed cost, you have increased your variable cost, but no change in <coughs> operating income. and no change in sales. So in that case, what will happen? Then what will you have to recover? In that case, if we get the amount of profit, we have to attain the minimum. So we calculate the dollar uh, target profit calculate first. हमारे uh, जो fixed expenses new है plus target profit कि हमारा ये target profit old ही रहता है लेकिन हमारे fixed expenses बढ़ जाते हैं CM ratio भी हमारी uh, change हो गई so our fixed cost is uh, 240,000 that is our new fixed cost plus our old target profit was our old operating income was 48,000 or our contribution margin ratio hai 0.25. So by calculating these, we will have 1.152 million in sales, dollar sales. Okay. अगर हम इसको कंपेयर करें विद आर ओल्ड सेल्स दीज आर हाउ मच मोर देन दिस सो दीज आर 352000 डॉलर्स higher than the previous one uh, if we can uh, if we want to show these in percentage so this will be 0 0.44 or 44 percent so we at least up sales may 44 percent ka increase karna padega tab ye strategy jo hai wo viable hai otherwise ye strategy viable nahi hai. 